found out about my liver and why and you know, what what it's doing you know is it hardening or what's what's going on with the, what, what's happening to my liver and 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 what's causing it there's two questions you need to ask him and then you need to get those answers from them and then you need to call me with those answers and you need to tell me those answers it's really that simple okay yeah I know Dave but uh, I have you on speakerphone I know about that okay we just mentioned it now let's go over it one more time alright go ahead well if he's if he's the doctor that you went to, and um, you know, he found these problems with your liver. Why, why waste time going to another doctor at this point? You know, why not go through back to him because he's the one that found it, or whatever. And so, we need to go back to him for information. Then we can, then we can get you set up with a doctor around here to work on that or to uh, to start seeing um, about you know <laughs> later but right now the, the big concern now is your liver so he's the one that found the problem with the liver so he'll we'll go back to him and we'll get we'll have the we need to know from him you know what what is wrong with your liver period stop that's you know what is wrong with your liver and what's causing it and if the, if the answer is your liver is hardening or this or that you know it's a fatty liver or whatever it is there's two questions what is wrong with your liver and what is causing the liver and you can ask the third question what can you do about it so there's actually three questions that you yeah can, right but, uh, you could ask them What's wrong with the liver? What caused this to happen to your liver? And what can you do about it? Right. That's the best possible way you can you can work on this, and that's what I'm trying to do with you. Oh, are you? Now, once I have that information, then uh -huh. we can take action on treating the liver um, or going to the right person to work on the liver with or you know, we can even use herbs or whatever, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, we can do a combination. I don't want right. to use too much medication. I like maybe one pill for a while, you know. With the liver, the liver is self-healing. A lot of times you, with the liver problems, you don't do anything except stop what's causing it to damage it, you know. That's really what you do with the liver. And, and then you, there are herbs that can help this out, help the liver heal itself and stuff. It just depends how, how much damage is done and everything. So what we need to do now is get those three three questions asked. Write these questions down. All right. And then get the number from this doctor mm -hmm. and then call him and ask him these three questions. Get these three answers and then call me back with these three answers. And then you and me, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll, we'll, we'll do the best possible thing about it at that point. Without that, in, without that information, I can't do anything. Right. So, well, get, I, I call him give you, and ask him these three questions. I want to give you some in information that was, that was a statement and a very profound statement uh, written. I'm not going to mention the author, but he... But she says that I am uh, the chosen donkey that Jesus rode into Israel on Passover when Christ was celebrating Palm Sunday before Easter. She says that I'm the chosen donkey that he rode in. Okay, well, get, you write these questions down first. Go ahead. I'm, I have a Ask, Say, what, what is wrong with my liver? All right. What's the problem with my liver, or what's wrong with it? All right. What's 
causing this problem. Mm -hmm. Second question: What's probably what's causing the problem okay, with well, the liver? All right. Third question: What can we do about it? How can we reverse the problem or the damage, or how can we help the liver with this problem? Yeah. How do we? What do we do? Yeah. So we then, you know, you need to call. You'll probably get his secretary, right? Mm hmm. You'll probably get his secretary and you just say, I really need to know. I need to, for you to ask him a que <coughs> these questions for me. And then, then she'll get back to you or you call her back. But you keep calling there until you get these answers, okay? All right. All right? Yes. Yeah, so then once I get the answers, then what do I do? Well, depending on what the answers are, we'll, we'll do the best possible thing for you. That sounds good. Whatever, well, you know, depending on what the answers are. Yeah, right. So, but that's very important, and you really need to do this. Because um, mm -hmm. I don't want to fool around with this, you know, this liver problem. This is, I mean, the liver, it, it you know, by acting on it now, right. you could reverse the damage in the liver. Mm-hmm very easily by doing things and but if you wait too long you know things could you could you could have liver failure or too much damage to reverse so yeah it's, right it's we don't want to get to the, you do yeah. something as fast as possible well that's the reason why i went down there i'm glad i went down there well i think a doctor here would have found that too Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure this isn't this isn't any test that only a doctor there could figure out. I mean, there's there's standard liver tests like they take liver enzymes and well, back they can, to the, they can determine the health of the liver. You remember Doctor Pump Jump, don't you? Pump Bump. No. Doctor uh -huh. Pump Bump told me that a long time ago. Doctor Pump Bump told me that a long time ago about the liver. So this might have been happening, you know. Years. So, yeah. you know what I mean? I got to do something quick. That's important is that, you know, I mean, you know, don't hurt yourself when you're <laughs> calling there. And don't rush too much. And You remember the very plump doctor that I used to go to told me that a long time ago. Casey. Yeah. Uh, he told me about... Well, I'm sure, you know... He told he me about that a long something. time ago. You had to go to Pittsburgh to find out. He told me that like five, six years ago, did he? You know what I mean? This isn't some something you had to go to Pittsburgh to find out. This is something, you know, any good endocrinologist here could find it out. Right. Would, would be able to figure that out. Or right. any even, you know, primary physician. Right. I mean, you know. Well, the thing is, you know... If if you're going to have a medical doctor, you got to have a psychiatrist. And if you got to have a psychiatrist, you got to have a medical doctor. And if you go to a psychiatrist, the psychiatrist goes to the psychoanalyst, and the psychoanalyst goes back to the psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist goes to the psychologist. And they talk to you about what's wrong, and it's all mumble jumble. And, it's, and it builds up to one big head, and then you don't know what to do next time you go back to one, and you forget because there's so much junk you have to remember. And, you know, when you get, you know, after a while, you're fucking laying around the house all the time worrying about it, and you don't get nothing done. Well, we, we're doing some. No, I don't mean about that. I mean, you get things done, like productive things, like work. Like, uh, like, you know, like for instance, I'm getting this stuff broadcasted on, um, on YouTube. Like working, like making money, like having fun, like dating girls, like, uh, um, well, that kind of Well, first of all, you need, you need to be concerned Then after health. a while, then after a while, that all disappears. 
you know, all your social life and your entertainment life and your and going out and having fun and yeah. working and working and stuff like that. That all disappeared. Oh, your You're sitting you around the house worrying about fucking something stupid like like that. And, and then the stress gets to you, then you fucking die. And you end up not being productive in your life or positive. You're just worried about that shit. And you're sitting around vegetating in your house worrying about fucking yeah. what pills should I take. Well, this is first, this is the first thing you gotta do. Because if you, if you have, if you have bad health, you're not gonna be able to do anything. You have a, if you have liver failure, forget it. Right, exactly. So let's get it, let's get it, you know, don't make a big farting deal about it. You know what I mean? That's a, I can't understand about some of these people. I'm not, I never make a big deal out of going to the doctor. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never make a big deal. I'm too busy. I'm too busy to fiddle fart around with a doctor. You know, like after he tells you what to do and everything, you do it. I know. Right? You do it. You know, the doctor tells you, and that's why Dr. Hum, uh, Wilford said to me, he goes, he goes, you could, t after like a year, he said to me, you can take care of yourself. You know everything. You did the research. You did the studies. You do it yourself. You don't sit around and not have fun or not work or not be productive or positive in your life because something, you know, something yeah. you can take care of yourself, see? That's the way I always was. All right, so let's do this and get it over with so you don't have to worry about it. Thank you. I don't, you know, I want you to act on this quick get it, and get it behind you. Exactly, thank so you. You can do the things you want to do. Thank you. You know, there's a lot of life out there to lead. You know, there's more to life than, uh, you know, going to the doctor and taking pills and losing rest and, and sitting around wondering what to do about... Uh, and talking to people about it and so see that's that turns into gossip then gossip turns into rumors and uh you know that's what happened to me going going to the doctor you know the psychiatrist that's what happened to me a bunch of gossip and rumors started about it you know undermining uh you know they're un they're undermining uh and, and talking about that because you know that's the ways they can uh, sabotage me with and because they want to sabotage me because I make a lot of money. And they want to sabotage me because I have it nice. Uh -huh. They want to sabotage me because I have it better than them. You know? Yeah. And the thing is, I'm out there helping people with my knowledge and my abilities. I'm helping people. On the same token, they, they, they're they so jealous of the fact I'm doing what I'm doing about that, you know, leading a normal life, yeah, and all I, and all I, you know, everybody, you should know who I am by now, you know what I mean, I'm Scooby Ruby, well, we're doing I'm what we gotta no, do, Michael, That's right, 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 I'm, no, I'm nobody's baby, I'm, I'm one person, I'm Jesus Christ's baby, that's it, I'm the, I'm the baby of Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, even even people today are making fun of me. Uh, you know, they're right. This one author called me the uh, the chosen donkey. Well, I'd rather be a donkey than a fucking evil devil, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you rather be uh, Jesus' chosen donkey than an evil devil? I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that. Well, it's just a theory game. What's your theory on that? I don't have one. What's your theory about me? I think you're uh, a fine young man that just needs to be uh, healthy and so you can do some things you want to do. That's why I love you, Dave. So you get on that. Yeah, I will, Dave. Alright? Yeah. Hey, uh, are you going over to Dad's today? Well, I'm going to be going over to J-Town here oh. soon. I got to get back to work there. I got, I got, I got to get this. You know, I got to get back to work here. 
Yeah, I do too. I my contract ran out. I gotta get back to work too. I, I haven't been working for three weeks. Mm. <coughs> well, good luck with that. Yeah, so. I'm, hey, if you catch me up J Town jamming, and you know, why don't you come in and visit? All right. Because I may be in a bar up there. I'm not okay. sure. I have to book myself. Oh, fart. All right. Well, you know. You know, call them.